Got the littlest one. Howdy there folks and welcome to Bullets for Bucks. My name's Stephen Bresnaw and today we're gonna go over the GRS Fenris stock. This stock is available for the Savage, the Tika, the Remington, the Mauser, and the Bergara rifle. This one happens to be the Tika edition. So I have a Tika T3X Superlight dropped into this aftermarket stock. The company is out of Norway and the spelling for this particular model, Fenris, is F-E-N-R-I-S. First, let's talk about some of the basic features, specifications, and then we'll go over uh, the range details and how it performed at the range, as well as showing that footage. Starting at the rear here, you have a very nice soft limb saver recoil pad, about one inch thick. In my opinion, it does a very good job of mitigating felt recoil and is very comfortable. Then it has a plastic spacer, and then it has a aluminum spacer, I believe, or stainless steel potentially, and that adds a very good rigidity in the butt stock. On this side, there is a flush cup for mounting a QD sling built into the stock, which I really like. And then the bottom here has about a two to three inch long, very nice flat bag riding surface. And that's gonna give you a nice level, uh, very good controlled recoil. And that's gonna help you shoot more accurately, usually in the field. Then it has a very nice push button on the right side of the stock, push that in, and you can actually just pull out the back here and adjust it for length of pull. Now it is a little difficult to do sometimes with one hand. With two hands, it's actually very easy. And it has multiple settings. It's very rigid. There's not a lot of play or wiggle in that. And I really like this system as it's much easier to adjust than say thumb adjustable screws. Then coming forward, you have a very nice, a large, beefy uh, comb adjustment. Same function, push in on the spring-loaded button, push it in or up, adjust it to where you're comfortable. Very, very solid, not a lot of give there. The stock itself is made of a high-quality polymer material, but unlike cheap polymer stocks, it's very, very solid. It doesn't sound howl at all. And I believe it's reinforced with fibers, so it's extremely, extremely rigid. I really like the very nice palm swell on this. It's very, very large, almost about 90 degree vertical grip here. Super large palm swell, very nice large thumb shelf if you desire to use it. And ergonomically, in my opinion, this is my favorite stock to actually use and shoot with. And I find that it's extremely accurate. It has ridges for your fingers. Now, if you don't like a large palm swell, a 90 degree grip or almost 90 degree grip, um, then maybe this isn't the stock for you. But if you do, this is a great choice. Also, you'll notice this is like offsetted and that just makes it more ergonomic and natural feeling in my op opinion. There's two action screws, one in the rear, one in the front. Um, they say that you should torque those down with this stock to 44.3 inch pounds, I believe, basically 44 inch pounds. Always start by tightening the rear action screw and then the front um, to get the best bedding. The stock is advertised to have a, a glass bedding block already molded into it. Um, so uh, I don't have a lot of information on that other than that's what their materials say. And when you look at the inletting, it looks very clean and it's very rigid. Coming forward, you have a nice wide grip here for your fore, on your forend. Um, it's a little beefy for like hunting applications, but for PRS um, or certain types of hunting, very, very comfortable. Has lots of grooves molded into the polymer, so very easy to grip even when wet. Then has a flush cup on the right uh, front, or no, excuse me, the front left right here to put your sling swivel stud in and then, or put your sling on and then a cutie sling. And then it has a sling swivel stud at the front for mounting a bipod. Obviously, there's a huge inlet on this, and so it has plenty of room to free float, um, even probably number five contour barrels. 
The stock itself is available in this nice earthy gray color and it's advertised that this stock is good for driven hunts, woodland hunts, and competition shooting. Specifications on the stock itself are three pounds, so it's not ultra light, but it's not super heavy either. The length of pull is adjustable on this from 13.1 inches to 14 point, I believe one or two inches. The overall length of the stock itself is 29.7 inches. The forehand width is 2.28 inches and it's rated for up to 375 H and H. All right, so let's go ahead and take this to the range and see how it performs. <laughs> there we go. Got the littlest one. All right, so now that we're back from the range, I gotta say, I'm in love with this stock. Now, yes, I did get it as a product sample from the company, full disclosure, but I truly enjoyed shooting with this stock. I found the length of pull adjustment very useful. Um, not only for myself, but if I wanted to let other people shoot it quickly, I could quickly adjust that length of pull so it appropriately fits their body. Also, the comb adjustment, I really like it, as well as the design and curvature of the comb rest itself or cheek rest itself. The ergonomics of the grip are fantastic, and I found it much easier to shoot this Tika T3X Super Light uh, consistently more accurate with the stock over the factory uh, stock that it came in. Also, the stock appears and functioned as though it's extremely rigid. There's not really any slop or play or movement in the foreign whatsoever, no flex, even with a bipod. And I just, I'm kind of in love with it. It, it works great. I shot an amazing group with this uh, barreled action in this stock very, very easily um, and pretty effortlessly in my opinion. So. Do I like this GRS Fenrest stock from Norway? Absolutely. Would I recommend getting it as an aftermarket stock for a Tika, a Savage, a Hawa, a Mauser, Remington, Bergara? Absolutely. I think this is a great, what I would consider hybrid usage stock or hybrid stock, meaning that you could use this for entry level PRS Hunter if you desire or NRL Hunter if you desire, or you could take this out and hunt with it. Now, it's a little bit bulky and a little bit heavy for maybe those backcountry hunts for say elk or mule deer. But apart from that, absolutely a great choice for those people who shoot recreationally on the weekends or take it on a relatively moderate to light hunt. Hope you enjoyed this review of the GRS Fenris stock. Look forward to seeing you back in the next video. Thanks for watching Bolts for Bucks. Check out this next video and subscribe.